We roll it now. Okay. Okay. What's the matter? You're still laughing from last year. Minute and a half. It's well, do I look like a country and western singer? You want to? <laughs> no. No, then he doesn't. Hey, I'll probably. <laughs> Maybe. Why don't We've only them? sold these to preachers, right? The black ones? No, no a doctor. A doctor, doctor. a doctor bought it, mm -hmm. and then a preacher. So we've got a, a couple preacher. left. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying that okay. we're going to limit it to doctors and preachers. <laughs> so <laughs> if you Bring want a black ID hat. in with you, huh? Yeah. Hey, I heard something on the radio. It was kind of funny. I thought it was kind of funny. They, were, they said that an airplane left Ireland with... It was like 90 passengers on there. When they got in the air, the lady came on and she said, I hate to say this, they were getting ready to serve lunch, I hate to say this, but we've only got 49 meals to serve. So somebody's going to be short. So what we've done is if you don't want a meal, we'll give you unlimited drinks. Okay. So, so, so they went but, back to the airport but, with 45 meals, right? No, they went back with 40. Okay. <laughs> I was on the right track on that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm glad I wasn't on that flight. That would have been messy. Okay. I forgot my $100 winner at home today. Well, I actually forgot who it was and everything. So I had to call the Frazee Farm and say, who's the winner next week? Our $100 winner for next week is Lyle Dotus. I knew that. How did you know that? Because you read the, it in the paper. I pulled the paper up this morning and I seen Lyle Dotus run it. I thought, good. Okay. Why didn't you just ask me? I know stuff. <laughs> Who's the winner next week? I can't tell you. It's kind of a secret. <laughs> yeah, we don't tell everybody. Huh? It's like, okay. Do you know? So, no, because I've forgotten. They're written down at home. I don't need that. You don't clog up a memory with, you know, things you aren't going to use till next week. So you're, what you're saying is you're so old, your hard drive up here is oh, it's full. Getting full. It's getting full. Yeah, I notice it more and more every day. And you were going to so, say, we're down to, by the way, people want, no, you got one, two, Three, four, uh, two five, six. Two more this six. color. So we've got four different wind chimes. I, I keep talking about this. We've got a 10% sale on everything in the store. And I know we all like a good sale. We want a better price. It's like, don't wait. Some of these items are like right down to well, our, almost gone. Our, our regular it's, price on them is good to begin with. I mean, this yeah. thing here normally sells for about $129. It's $89. You get another just about 10 bucks off of it. So... So uh, I sold the last walking stick yesterday. Oh, yeah, you okay. probably missed that. Yetis are flying out of here, but yep. uh, and Turvis is flying out. Some the you, counters still are starting got to thin. Lots of them, but we have people coming in. And I'm still I'm looking for this particular one. It's like no, it's been gone now. Everybody yep. else is looking at. Well, the look at our rata so. knives are getting kind of ratty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is ratty knives. They're getting, yeah, yeah, they're really ratty. Over. That's not the right word. Not really, but if you want to use it, I'll agree with it. You know, one thing we did just get in, uh, and maybe Raina can go around and take a look yeah. at it, is all of our Christmas music boxes, and we got a lot I of them. I think we mentioned we, last week that we forgot to cancel the order. Yeah. And there's a few up there, and the rest of them are around on, on the, the other, other side. side. And a lot and a lot of brand new, uh, uh, wi uh, what do you call them, water globes? Water man? globes, okay. And because I'm not the businessman of this uh, to some, I asked Roger, I said, so they're going to be 10% off, right? And he said, yeah. And I said, so do you mark them up a little bit higher then so we can give them 10% off? And he's like, no. <laughs> so no, that, no. that I isn't don't, the way it you know, so, operates. No. And it's like, you, I, a lot of these know. places, they, they, they're going to close their store. So what do they do? They, jack, they close it off for two or three days and they jack up all the prices. You think you're getting a deal and you're not. When my kids were in high school, they used to be occasional employees of a place here in town that would go in and mark everything up so that they could put a sale on. So it, it does happen. So you don't have to make any guesses because I'm not going to tell you if you're right anyhow. <laughs> well, furniture stores normally do that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, but okay. are they in business now? Come, come in the store and see us while we still have good selection. You can still order the lawn furniture 
uh, and get the discount on it. But you're going to pay the freight. And you will have to pay the freight on it. It'll yeah. be shipped right to your house. So you can't if beat you that get, either. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so come on in and see us. There's a lot of good deals in here. Diane and Roger back here at the station. We're not now, done yet. Crazy. She's been telling us to wrap it up now for I a while. I didn't see the wrap. Can we wrap it again? <laughs> okay. There, see it? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Thank <music> you.